Hey guys, my name is Julia and I'm one of your teen services librarians over at the main library of Goodwood. We are experimenting with optics in this week's STEM shenanigans as we are going to be building a camera obscura. Supplies that accompany this week's video are available in a limited capacity at Maine's drive through So what are we building? A camera obscura or a pinhole image is a naturally occurring phenomenon when an image is displayed, reverted when it is reflected through a small hole or a screen. We are building a device that will capture that phenomenon. Basically, we're building the earliest form of a camera. So let's get started. To make a camera obscura, you will need one Pringles container, wax paper, black paper, tin foil, tape, a thumbtack, and something to cut with. To get started, we will take our Pringles container and we're going to cut off the bottom third or so. I have drawn a line on mine to follow because I cannot be trusted to cut in a straight line. What we will do next is we are going to take the top off of our longer end and then we are going to put wax paper on this and secure it with the lid. I'm going to go ahead and trim up the wax paper on the side as well. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to reattach these uh, by taping it around the side. Once it's all taped back together, we're going to wrap the outside in tin foil and secure that with the rest of our tape. Okay, so I did not mess with the tin foil on camera just because it makes a horrendous sound for it. The reason we did wrap this in tin foil though is because we want to reflect light away from our camera obscura. Now that we have covered it in tin foil, what we're going to do is flip it upside down and we're going to use our thumbtack to make a pinhole. This will be what uh, lets light in uh, and allows our device to work. It is important that you make only one pinhole. If you make more than one, it will ruin the final product. Uh, however, the size of your pinhole will change the image you see. So if you make something very small, just a single quick poke, your image will be very crisp but rather dim. If you make it a little bit bigger by wiggling that thumbtack around in there, you will get something that is brighter but a little more fuzzy. So I'm just gonna poke it through. And now that we have done that, you just wanna take your black paper and roll it on the inside. Like that. This will help dampen any extra light and serves as an extra eyepiece. And there you have it. We have our camera obscura. Okay, so here's where I explain how the science works. Light rays travel in straight lines, which is properly called the rectilinear propagation of light. What normally happens is light rays bounce off everything around them in all directions. However, when you have a pinhole, the only light that can come in is what is directly across from it. As the light comes in, it is refracted by the pinhole, which inverts the image we see reflected in our display. This is pretty much exactly how our eyes work because yes, we do see the world upside down. Our brains just constantly have to flip it around for us. However, the first scientist who actually studied how this works was an Iraqi physicist named Hassan Ibn al-Haytham. He understood very well how light works and did a number of experiments with the camera obscura. He eventually published all of his research in something called the Book of Optics. This book went on to influence Da Vinci, Descartes, and Kepler, and it is, forms the basis of our modern understanding of optics. I have some sad news. There is literally no way with our filming equipment I can show you exactly how this works. So this part is on you. The best way to test out your camera obscura is to go into a dimly lit room, point your pinhole at the light, and then look through. You should be able to see the light, but upside down. Once you do that, take it out, explore, see what else you can see. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to call us at 231-3770 or leave a comment on this video. More importantly, show us what you do with your project. Thank you for tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed the wonders of optics and I cannot wait to see you next week.